Well, welcome back to One of Those Photos. And we're heading into winter here over in Australia. So we get in the rain and we get the weather, we get the wind. And one of those things that I find really annoying is wet cycling shoes. They're just, I hate that slushy, soggy feeling that you get. And then like when you take them off, when you get to where you're going, you like, you've got to try and get them dry and you put paper in. And then when you come to the end of the day and you're going to come home, they just still not dry and you've got to put your, your dry sock and dry foot into a wet shoe. And uh, I mean, some people may not bother them, but me, I'd rather put my foot into a dry shoe and, and keep my feet dry. So how do you do that with these cycling shoes? We're going to talk about and show you how to do that after we roll the intro. Well, the first thing you need to do is inspect your shoe because the shoes vary considerably. Now, the shoes that I've bought that I use, they actually have vents underneath the camera. And you can see here that as you look in front of the, the cleat, there usually is some sort of venting in the bottom of the shoe to help keep your foot cool because these shoes are designed for fair weather cycling. So the first thing you need to do is you need to cover this hole. You need to seal it so the water can't get in the bottom of the shoe. Now, what I find is really good is this bear tape or cotton reinforced tape, gaffer tape, 100 mile an hour tape, whatever you want to call it. The black, this black stuff here, you can see that um, it's kind of got that real gooey, sticky backing, and you can cut this off. And this seals the shoes really good, and it's quite durable for when you're walking. So even though it might get slightly damaged, it still keeps that shoe sealed. The next thing you need to get is some overshoes and these are like a cover that fits neatly over your shoe and seals your shoe they there's two different types there's ones that are designed to keep your feet warm and there's ones that decide to keep your feet warm and they're actually waterproof now if you look at these ones here these ones are made by bbb and they say hydrophobic on them which means that they they expel or propel water away from the surface these are the ones you sort of want to look for to keep the water out now, if you haven't got them or you've already got a pair that aren't hydrophobic, then what you need to do is, is you need to seal them. And this can be done using candle wax. What you do is, is you, you buy like quite a big candle wax, like this one here. And then what you do is, is you rub it onto your surface of your, your overshoe. And then what you do is you get a hairdryer or a heat gun or something like that. And you just heat it until it just starts to solidify and melt. And it will go nice and glossy. When you come to put the actual overshoe on your shoe, it'll, you'll see it will go white because it does break this, the surface of the wax. And you will have to do this on a regular basis, like it may be five or six times that you ride in the rain to keep it waterproof. But it works. I've done it with other overshoes. It works very, very well. So what you've got is you've taped up the holes in the bottom and then you put your overshoes on. Now there is another key feature you need to do. You need to make sure that if you're wearing socks, they're pushed right down, right down to your shoe, so they don't stick up near the top of your overshoe at all. Because what happens is, is the water starts to creep in from the top, and it basically acts like a wick. The sock, for, from, through capillary action, will actually suck the water down through your sock and into your shoe, and then your shoe will get wet. So you must push the sock down, and when you put the overshoe on, make sure it's sealed as tight as you can around the top. The zipper's done up well. The best way I find to keep the water completely out is to wear some wet weather pants that actually cover the top of your, your overshoes. So you're basically like making a, a, a lap, a lap from the, the pants to the overshoes. And this works very well. I've run, gone through huge puddles and splashed up and gone, man, my shoes are going to get wet for sure. And, and they haven't. So this works extremely, extremely well, and, and then you can, you can keep your shoes really, really dry. And so when you take them off at the end, your socks, your shoes are dry, and when you come to put them on at the end of the day, they're all dry, and it's beautiful to come home and ride again. Well guys, that's how you get your shoes waterproof, by using an overshoe, putting tape on the front of your shoe, and it keeps it nice and dry. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thanks for watching subscribe and to ring that bell so you get the notifications coming through.